Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Top Chen channel. Today we're discussing animals, with 10 being the most weird and number one being the least weird. So let's get started on our weird animals and our weird pets. Number 10 is a potbelly pig. Now they say these animals are highly intelligent and highly trainable, but I don't know, can you just imagine having like a two, 300 pound animal running around your house in the form of a pig? Now I once knew a lady who had one and we called her the pig lady, but I guess they might make a good pet. Number nine is the infamous snake. Now, I'm not a snake lover, but you know, I, I don't mind them, but I can't see having, having a snake run around. Come here, snake, come on, let's go, let's go for a walk. But, you know, depending on the size and the shape, you might like them. Number eight is the chimpanzee or monkey. They're incredibly smart, but I always wanted one as a kid. I hear, though, they can be incredibly vicious, so you got to watch out for these guys. But, you know, kind of a cute pet. Number seven, at least in my opinion, is a hedgehog. Prickly and cute, but I don't know whether I'd want one of these guys for a pet or not. But you can be the judge of that. Number six is the goat. Can you just imagine having a goat wandering around your house as a pet? <laughs> well, I'm, I don't know, everybody to their own. On the other hand, they do say again, they're highly intelligent and very loyal, so uh, maybe it's worth a shot. Number five, believe it or not, and you'll have to listen to this twice, is the skunk. The skunk is an incredible pet, they say. You have to get the glands taken out, but they are just, they're nocturnal, but they're just enjoyable. So, you know, give them a try, but I, I think they'd make a good pet. Silly, but true. Number four, which might give you the heebie-jeebies, is the tarantula, but actually these animals are quite harmless and they do make pretty good pets. I don't know if you want to love and kiss them, but you know, they, they, they could go for a good pet. After that, number three is a chick which grows into chickens and I don't know why anybody on earth would want to have a pet chicken, but people do have them and I guess again, as I said before, they are loyal and they will follow you around. Our next pet sitting in at number two, and I just could not imagine this sleeping in my bed like this, is a caiman or crocodile. Waking up with my head snapped off, but you know, as I said many times, they each their own. It's totally bizarre. And last but not least, our bizarrest pet animal is the cockroach. Now can you just imagine this? Hey guys, come on over for dinner and meet my pet cockroach. Anyway, that to me is totally bizarre. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. So for more of our top 10 videos, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and like I said, thanks for watching and we'll see you later for more top 10.